Hey guys, welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Bruce and today I want to give you 10 golden tips for gameplay with autocannons in World of Tanks. Let's go! Before we start with the topic of this video, I want to mention that you have the chance of winning a premium tier 7 tank just by watching my videos. All you need to do is to watch this and the following videos. In each video, you will find letters that you have to combine to a word or phrase. As soon as you know what the phrase is, you can send me a mail with this phrase, i.e. your solution, what you think the word or phrase is, and your in-game name and your server you are playing on. Just write it to this email address right here. Later this year, I will make a little tombola and maybe you will be lucky and receive a new tank. More information can be found in the info box below this video. Wargaming has released its first tech tree with tanks that feature auto cannons. They are comparable to autoloader tanks but have some unique features and have to be played slightly differently. In fact, if you don't pay attention to some details, then you won't be successful. In this video, I will tell you everything you need to know in order to perform well above average. Just follow my 10 golden tips and you will be set up for success. So without further ado, let's jump into some gameplay. All right, first game with the Bless. We are spawning in a tier nine matchup on mines. And my first tip for you is understand the gun mechanics and the characteristic of or the characteristics of those auto cannons auto cannons employ hundreds of shells per minute so every shell only produces a very little amount of damage and so in order to make a huge amount you need to hold the trigger and keep holding it until your clip is empty and this takes multiple seconds so this is comparable to an autoloader tank when you empty your whole magazine and you guys as you already watched my autoloader tutorials you know what happens if you do that yes exactly you get spotted and enemy tanks will return fire to you and chances are that you will get taken out same applies for auto cannon tanks so either you have to live with only a small amount of damage dealt or you have to risk losing hp when emptying your magazine so this is simply how it works so this is what you always have to take into consideration and you always have to think of can you afford losing hp in a situation and is it worth emptying your magazine this, this is just how it is and this is something you have to always consciously think about if you're playing your auto cannon tank tip number two is exercise extreme patience your tank is lackluster in a 1v1 battle over medium to long distances so in other words your tank is only effective in a short portion of the game thus you must not compete with other tanks if you are in a disadvantageous position and this will happen quite often during the game so just be patient and wait for your chance to come don't spend time aiming in uh, aiming in order to make only a small amount of damage over wide distance your adversary tank will aim faster and make more damage than you so you are searching for a situation in which your tank is in an advantageous position just like here in a fight over a very short range um, because then um, if uh, for example like the IS-3 if the adversary tank is even um, engaged in another fight then you have the advantage on your side and uh, you have the time to empty your clip and to make damage and to deal this fantastic amount of damage with emptying your whole clip so this is the situation that you are looking for in your auto cannon tank Tip number three is preserve your HP as good as you can. You will need your HP to make risky plays in the in the game, just like here. So more than in any other tank class, is it important to preserve your HP. Every single HP that you lose will limit your, um, your result because you need it to make those risky plays. As your auto cannon tank is only effective in a in a close range fight, as you saw here, you will most often need to trade HP to get close to other tanks. So as soon as you have lost your HP or most of your HP, 
the chance of getting into an advantageous situation is over and you will not get a decent result anymore. This is how the game works. So that's just what you have to understand in this tank. Here you go. Okay, I took a shot. Um, could have evaded out of this situation earlier. Um, let's uh, reload. And let's uh, talk about tip number four. And that is understand and incorporate the different shell types. Fortunately, auto cannon tanks, and this applies at least for the Czech light tanks, don't have premium ammunition. All ammunition types are cheap but have different characteristics. The regular AP shell deals a mediocre amount of damage but has decent penetration, which will of course not be enough to pen the frontal armor of same tier heavy tanks. If you press the 2 key, you can load APCR with better pen but with very little alpha damage. And if you load HE, you can make huge amount of damage but you only have an abysmal penetration value. So this is only useful for lightly armored, for the lightly armored rear of a tank or for glass cannon TDs. However, if you encounter such a tank, you should really exploit this type of ammunition. All right, next game is on Abbey in a tier eight matchup. And it brings me to tip number five, which is counter aggressive first positions of adversary tanks. So just like on mines, you see me go into a position from which I can counter the aggressive adversary light play. The autocannon tank is not the fastest light in the game, but still fast enough to counter aggressive enemy light plays. And in this situation, you should make use of the HE to make significant amount of damage. So we'll wait for aggressive light or medium tanks, which are fast and thus lightly armored. And here you go. Now I can empty my clip and deal a huge amount of damage so 611 damage onto the adversary burrask nice tip number six is counter enemy light tanks your tank can be extremely dangerous for lightly armored tanks as you just saw in this in this uh, situation so enemy light tanks as well as lightly armored tds are your primary targets and just like in a regular light, you should focus on taking out the adversary light tank so that you further on in, in the game have the advantage of being the best spotter in the game. And fortunately with an auto loader, uh, sorry, with an auto cannon tank, you have a tank which is extremely nicely suited for this task because you have this, this uh, insane firepower. Um, as your advantage compared to other light tanks and of course you have a reduced pen with your auto cannon tank compared to regular guns however this is not a problem if you are encountering um if you're encountering adversary light tanks all right um so let's talk about tip number seven and this is make bursts instead of continuous fire you saw me do this versus the burrask in this uh, previous situation so with doing so your aiming circle will not bloom out as much as with continuous fire additionally you will allow your gun a short some short periods of uh, time for aiming in and all in all you will hit much more shots and deal much more damage compared to simply um holding the the trigger continuously so this is what will help you make more damage in your autoloader tank all right um so there are multiple tanks in the middle meanwhile our team is making pressure via the three lane which is great we will simply fall back and give the chance uh, the adversary tank the adversary tanks the chance to make some aggressive play which we will of course hold in a little defensive position alongside with a Su 130 pm tip number eight is try to find isolated tanks so look for a way to sneak in and concentrate on driving so that the turret rotation of the enemy tank is not sufficient to follow you in such a situation if you're fighting against a lonely tank use auto aim and empty your burst preferably to the rear of the tank this way you can possibly take out tanks that are full hp 
with simply one clip so we will try to find the blesk in this yeah here you go in this situation we will not use auto aim we will simply try to use manual aiming and empty our whole clip and so yes we found this lonely tank that we could take out and so we already dealt 1700 damage so let's uh, reload our clip okay here you go i will take a shot but you know what i will simply empty my clip and make more damage yeah, there's another tank and now let's simply make damage of course he will now take me out but that is all right because i made 2500 damage with the blesk in this tier 8 game okay third game this time we spawn on highway in a tier 10 matchup and this matchup brings me to tip number nine which is use your tank primarily as a spotter as previously mentioned apart from a short range fight your firepower is generally limited due to multiple drawbacks such as low pen long aim time and the time it takes to cause damage so in order to exploit the rare options of making damage you should focus on exploiting the still decent characteristics as a light tank and so all in all try to concentrate on spotting rather than impatiently trying to clip out other tanks and that of course re mainly depends on the matchmaking you were in and on the map there are some spotting maps and there are some um some some city maps for example where spotting is simply not an option let's concentrate on this tank and let's try to make damage okay 546 damage now you saw me uh, begin beginning to move um, and that's simply because I knew that I would be spotted and I want to give I do not want to give adversary tanks which are trying to shoot me as you can see um, too much time to aim in on my station position so I so I um, started moving and consciously um, took the disadvantage to have a um, less precise gun while being on the move simply to um, do not risk or I should say do not risk too much to uh, to get damage by other tanks which um, as you saw um, try to take me under fire so yeah um, we talked about the the gun characteristics a lot and the this auto cannon feature okay here you go i have to take him out nice and let's take him out excellent perfect so we got rid of the of the most dangerous adversary adversary light tank excellent it's actually the the, the only light tank in the in the game but um, of course the elc is the best spotter in world of tanks and so taking out the elc is a huge step forward um for winning the game so yeah what i wanted to say is we talked a lot about this firepower and the situations in which this firepower is competitive and actually advantages to other tanks however it is only a short portion of a fight and a game and so you should try to exploit the other strength of the tank which you have available basically all the time very often you find yourself in a situation in which you are limited firepower wise as I, as I mentioned now multiple times but you will of course not be limited when it comes to spotting because you are light tank so exploit this advantage throughout the game and this will also help you to be patient because um, because you will not force yourself into a 1v1 situation where you are desperately trying to empty your clip um, as you might as you might do if you wouldn't concentrate on uh, on the spotting role of your lighting all right so tip number 10 is as in a regular light tank try to be the first tank arriving at the remaining enemy tank position to cause damage and to get all the sweet spotting damage and this is what you see me do right here so take a look at the minimap and uh, notice how i am positioned at the first line of our team okay I get damage but uh, as the, this uh, shptk just shot he will take um, tons of damage from my team and this is exactly what i want to see 
and why I move my tank to be the first one arriving at the adversary positions. So as your clip potential is so huge you can particularly exploit it in a late game situation. So in order to do that you need to hurry up if the last phase of the game has begun and in such a situation you need to be one of the first tanks if not the first one to arrive at the remaining tanks position. This way you can deal a lot of damage and bring the game to a good result even if it has not been satisfying so far. So that's what I want to do and I think this game is a pretty decent um, a pretty decent example of how you can and should still play those auto cannon light tanks as a light tank overall and not concentrate too much on your auto cannon um, firepower abilities or the characteristics of this um, this auto cannon. Okay, can I get a shot onto the Cobra? I do not know. I'm spotted. Okay, so I want to back off and I think he's already trying to yeah, go for me. So the game is relatively close and now the question is how can I open the door for my team in order to win this game to push in now those tanks are in a decent hull down position but that was good that was a good shot so the t30 is now down to being one shotable of course i'm going for the scorpion g here and i simply want to empty my clip and make uh, and make some more damage so I've preserved my HP quite nicely. Of course, I'm now taken out because I um, took multiple shots from multiple tanks, but that is all right. And in the end, I got a decent result with my auto cannon tank simply because I concentrated on spotting and only in a particular situation did I move in in order to empty my clip. So plus I'm, I was kind of the door opener for my team to win the game. And so all in all, I made approximately 5k damage combined with approximately 2k damage by myself and 3k spotting damage and I think this showed the strength and the overall behavior of those tanks. Alright guys that was it for today with the little tutorial about auto cannon tanks in World of Tanks. What do you think about this new check tech tree line? Do you like those tanks? Do you think they are fun to play? Do you prefer them over regular autoloader tanks? Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. And as always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. This really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. If you find this video extremely helpful, then feel free to support me via Super Thanks. This way you can make a one-time donation. You just have to click this button underneath the video. If you adore this channel and you want to consistently support me, then consider subscribing to my channel or become a member once again with the click of a button underneath the video. Thanks a lot and I see you next time in another World of Tanks video.